Good morning, Paul here up on Emu Mountain. Hallelujah. Great place to be, my prayer mountain. But a, about a day ago, a bit over a day ago, my twin sister died. And I thought I'd read out of 2 Corinthians 5 where Paul talking about his earthly body being folded up like a tent and getting a new body in glory. So from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, the Passion Translation, living by faith. We are convinced that even if these bodies we live in are folded up at death like tents, we will still have a God-built home that no human hands have built, which will last forever in the heavenly realm. We inwardly sigh as we live in these physical tents longing to put on a new body for our life in heaven in the belief that once we put on our new clothing we won't find ourselves naked so while living in this tent we groan under its burden not because we want to die but because we want these new bodies we crave for all that is mortal to be swallowed up by eternal life and this is no empty hope for God himself is the one who has prepared us for this wonderful destiny. And to confirm this promise, he has given us the Holy Spirit like an engagement ring as a guarantee. That's why we're always full of courage. Even while we're at home in the body, we're homesick to be with the Master. For we live by faith, not by what we see with our eyes, we live with a joyful confidence, yet at the same time we take delight in the thought of leaving our bodies behind to be at home with the Lord. So whether we live or die, we make it our life's passion to live our lives pleasing to Him. For one day we will all be openly revealed before Christ on His throne, so that each of us will be duly recompensed for our actions done in life, whether good or worthless. So we'll all have a destiny to go before the throne of Christ and to receive a recompense, a reward for what we have done, whether good or useless. So obviously, if you've done some good in your life uh, for the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be rewarded. And we look forward to that day. We look forward to the day. He, we are created in Christ to do good works which he's prepared in advance for us to do. So whether it be to be a scientist or a doctor or a school teacher or a bus driver, he has given us the gifts to be of service to his kingdom, to do good works which he has prepared in advance for us to do. Hallelujah. And he's given me the skills to put Bible readings on YouTube, so that's what I'm doing, and I do that every day in the Aussie Bible Study. You'll find them on Google or YouTube or Facebook. You have a great day. Get into his word and let his word get into you. See you later now. Bye.